Are we on here? I think we are. Well, thank you very much. And, you know, it's been um, great to come in here this morning and to see so many people I haven't seen for a while and um, just to hear the energy and the enthusiasm uh, as we're having the opportunity to visit with you this morning. It's interesting because as I was thinking and getting ready for this morning, I asked our city staff to go back and look at it. my 20 years as being the only female on the Des Moines City Council. I said, would you go back and pull for me um, information on all of the elections during that 20 year period? So there have been 18 different elections. And I guess let me just preface it by saying that what I'm gonna talk about at a local level is really a trend that goes through all levels of um, elective office. So I'm gonna speak about it though from the city council perspective. We have had 18 different elections in the 20 years that I've been on city council. We've had 45 plus individuals running, of which only 11 were women, of which only one woman was elected, and that's me. Of which the majority of voters in all of the elections tend to be more women. So why is it that we are not electing more women when you have more women percentage-wise that actually vote? <clears throat> City of Des Moines also has 23 boards and commissions, of which you would think that that would be a natural training ground for individuals to move into an elective office. And normally it is on a male perspective. But we have 31% of the boards and commissions in the city of Des Moines are women, 52% are men, and then we have a percentage that are currently open or vacant looking for appointments. And then we have the question of gender gap, where um, the state passed a law a couple of years ago, it went into effect last year, where we are required by law to have gender balance on certain boards and commissions. And I'm happy to say, Jeanette, that Des Moines actually complies with that. Not all of Polk County, but Des Moines does comply with our nine boards, so we do have gender equality. But um, when you stop and think about those statistics, and the fact that you have um, so many women serving on boards and commissions, but it does not translate to those individuals moving into the pipeline to really look at elective office. I know when I was looking at elective office, the one thing that I did is I sought out mentors that were in elective offices. And uh, two people that come to mind, uh, one is in the room with us today, Mary Kramer, um, and then Elaine Simoniak. So I wanted to cover both sides of the aisle, not knowing exactly which office I was running for, uh, but they provide invaluable um, guidance and uh, insight into running for elective office. Okay. Dora? 